Brooklyn. Hey, congratulations for the a successful half season so far. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, yeah, it's been uh, a roller coaster to say the least. It's been so exciting to just see the response we've been getting. You know, it's been so fun. Hey, um, so why do you think this show works? I mean, I mean, to me, it's 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 addictive. But uh, why do you think this show works? Well, it is. It's addictive. <laughs> I mean, I think you know. I think that uh, the writing and the storytelling. You know, they give you just enough on every little beat and every scene to keep it moving forward and for you wanting to know a little bit more. But also, I mean, I have to be honest, like I'm brag on um, the cast that I'm a part of. They are incredible. They are incredible artists and actors. And I think that everybody came and, and brought their A game and, and really didn't like leave anything on the table, you know. Um, and so all of that is translating. And I think between the writing and the, just the story and the setup and the 90s and all of these things, you know, it really could have gone bad, but I think it all came together and it went really, really well. And so you've got this, this kind of gem of Cruel Summer that everybody's really kind of latched onto, which has been, been really great. You never know when you're doing something, right? And we were shooting it in the middle of a pandemic. So even that was a bit of a curveball. <laughs> we're like, hey. We, we made something good. That's true. Well, the last time we saw your character, Angela Scott, she was barely introduced in the yeah. first episode as uh, Jeanette's father's, you know, girlfriend, uh, bartending friend yeah. and so yeah. on. But they have bigger and greater, um, bigger things for your, your character, Angela, right? Yeah. Yes. No, I think, you know, that was a, just a little introduction. And I think, you know, you'll be, you'll see the relationships between um, Angela and Jeanette and Angela and Greg evolve and grow. And, um, you know, I think it'll, there will be a lot of payoff on that as, as you, as you continue to watch through the episodes. Now, when we're, we're talking about payoff, are you talking about like relationship building um, between the, the, the father daughter or is it separate relationships? I think both, you know, I think it's both, you know, I think, you know, when you have a situation um, that is as intense as what Jeanette is experiencing and the Turner family is experiencing, there's a lot of strife and a lot of, you know, you, you love and you trust, but then there's a lot of stuff that happens because it's just stressful. And I think Angela can kind of come in being a little bit more objective and 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 not being super far off from understanding what it's like to be a teenage girl and saying, I get that she's going through a lot and you just got to be patient with her. And then also like coming at her and being like, look, like this is a lot and you need somebody. And so um, I think Angela kind of is uh, a stabilizing force um, for for them in, 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 in all the crazy dynamics and roller coaster that they're on. Now, with with a show like Cruel Summer, which is a, ten, a tendency to lean much more on a mystery side, do do the showrunners give you the whole script or just your parts? Um, we we got most of it, but then there were certain episodes where if only you were in it, you got that. <laughs> so there's still some, there's one or there's one episode that I don't know really anything about. Um, and so they, you know, they were really protective of certain aspects of the story. And, and Tia, the showrunner, would come to us like, do you want to know this? Do you not want to know this? Um, so there were conversations uh, around it, but there was definitely um, certain elements that were really kept pretty under wraps until the very, very end. And that begs the question, do you want to know that or you don't want to know that? I mean, I'm so curious. I always want to know. <laughs> it's hard for me to not know. Um, but I respect it because I do think, you know, particularly as an actor, sometimes when you know something, it inherently gets into under your skin and you don't want to give anything away. So I always respect and trust, um, you know, the writers and the showrunner when they say, look, I don't think you should know because I, you know, and so I'm like, okay, I, I respect that. So, um, you know, it's a team effort. And I think you that's where you have to lean on each other and, and, and have that trust. 
So I'm guessing you don't really know what happens at the end of the season. Then if, if you do, you're not going to tell us. No, I'm not. <laughs> um, you know, I, I may or I may not know. Um, but no, I am, I'm sworn to secrecy. So um, you're just going to have to watch and see. How, how is it? Uh, at, I, it's, I, I find it always funny talking to people now about the 1990s and people are now calling it a period of peace yeah. because, uh, because that shows my age because I lived through the 1990s. In fact, I still have some of that, all that stuff through it. But how, how was it acting during the, that period of time for you, 1995? Yeah, you know, you know, it was it was fun because it was like there was a lot of nostalgia going on. You know, I I was like in middle school, going into high schoolish, and but my older sister was eight years older than me, so there was a lot of references and things that I was even more aware of because I had an older sister, and so so it was great. It was so fun to kind of get back your little mom jeans and the fashion and, um, you know, look at references and figure out the wardrobe with your character. And then it was really fun to, to kind of see it all again through the eyes of like Kiara, who who's 18 and was not alive in the 90s. So it was really, it was fun. We all had a really great time with it. How was it acting um, with, with your counterparts uh, who plays uh, Jeanette and Greg on, on a show like this? Yeah. Um, I could not love Kiara and Michael anymore. I, we honestly, you know, it was funny because we were shooting this in the pandemic. And so there was really, we had to build a, a real level of trust with each other. And we were, we were really, we were shooting this in Texas. And so we were there together. We could hang out pretty much with just each other. And so we all really formed a really strong bond. And they are just, you know, so much fun, brought so much enthusiasm, so much care for the character and the story and really wanting to just bring the best we could to it. Um, so if, if anything, even if this show wasn't as, um, the, even if the response wasn't as good as it has been, which is a, a complete pet blessing, that would have been, you know, my cast, the cast that I got to be a part of and the team that I got to be a part of um, was really one of the greatest bright spot of this last year for me. And so um, it's just all been just, you know, icing on the cake. With with a pandemic shooting, I is, isn't like Texas a little bit more open than the rest of the country in terms of, you know, production or do you guys still, you know, no, extremely? Yeah, confident? no, you know, Texas itself was a little bit more open, but not on set, you know, not with all the protocols. I mean, it was pretty, you know, in, in all of the craziness and everything, like we all felt really safe and we all really understood that like, if we don't follow the rules, if we're not all operating under the same, you know, same ethos, then we're not going to get to finish this show. And we all love the show so much. We wanted to finish it. So any sacrifice or anything like that was worth it um, to a keep each other safe and healthy and to have the respect for each other's health, but also um, to be able to finish the show and to have, you know, have, have it be done. And real fast, how really is your karaoke? How, how what is my karaoke? How good are you at karaoke real fast? I mean, I'm all right. I don't know. That's for you to judge. I mean, I think I'm okay, but. <laughs> I guess we'll, we, we will all see. Well, you'll see. You'll all see later today, you know, how the karaoke turns out. Um, it was super fun. You know, it's karaoke. But it's also TV, so you still want it to sound good. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we did our best. <laughs> Terrific, Brooklyn. Hey, thank you for speaking with me. It's thank quite a joy. Thank you so much, Jake. Thank you. Can't wait to watch the rest of the season. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.